Good evening, everyone. It's been quite a while until we can say, yes, it's finally an important winter carnival. Hey, Steve Eiserman in the house tonight as Michigan Tech takes on Nebraska Omaha first period. Less than a minute in, that's Brad Stebner with his second of the year from Carl Nielsen and Jacob Johnstone, one nothing Huskies. Less than five minutes later, Nielsen and Stebner will assist Bryce Reddick as he will slap that one home to give Tech a two nothing lead. But we are not done in the first period. The Mavericks would respond just over the halfway point. Jason Megna will get the puck from Ryan Walters. And he puts it home to get the Mavericks on the board. It was 2-1 after 20 minutes. To the second stanza. Didn't take UNO long to get on the board. Bryce and Alosky beats Josh Robinson. That ties the game at 2. Ryan Walters scored at the 7.30 mark of the second period, but at 16.47, Jordan Baker will tie the game from Riley Sweeney and Blake Pietala, and that's how it ended. No scoring in the third, a tie at three. From Sweeney there, and um, I just tried to use the D-man as a little bit of a screen and just try and put it on net. The kid was uh, feeling pucks a little bit and just trying to get stuff on net, and, you know, sometimes they go in. And I knew they were a good team, and, and they showed uh, showed that tonight, and I was proud of our guys. And I thought we went toe-to-toe -to -toe, uh, with them tonight, and uh, like I said, I, you know, it, it probably fitting that it ended up in a tie. I thought both teams uh, had their opportunities to win the game or could have won the game. Saturday's game starts at 5.07 p.m. Josh Robinson had 26 saves for the Huskies. On the WCHA scoreboard, oh, thanks a lot, Minnesota Duluth. Now North Dakota beats them 3-1, to one. so North Dakota jumps ahead of Duluth and Michigan Tech into fifth place by itself in the league standings. And Bemidji State over Colorado College 4-2. To the CCHA, NMU defeats Bowling Green 4-2. Stefan Vijay, Andrew Chernichan, and Scott McCauley all with goals within the first 10 minutes of the first period, and they would hang on from there. Jared Coral, 32 saves. West Western Michigan sneaks past Ohio State 3-2. Ferris blanks Notre Dame 3-0. And Lake Superior State and Alaska, guess what? Just underway in Fairbanks. Also in college hockey, Finlandia men lose to Lawrence 4-2. And Wisconsin River Falls defeats the Finlandia women 6-0. That would be Hancock and Holton. And let's go to the action at the D Stadium. That is a good night for the... Gremlins as they make a couple of nice saves, but then Cal or, uh, Hancock gets the goal right there to take a 1-0 lead. Houghton would come back. Jed Callio ended up with a hat trick on the night, and it was a good night for the Gremlins as they went on to take the wing-ding hockey game by the count of 6-2. to two. Now to other hockey scores. And Calumet defeated Howell by the count of 7-2. That's down at the Trenton Showcase. Uh, Cranbrook upended Marquette 6-2 in that Calumet game. Levi Urkla and Eric Madela had two goals and one assist apiece. And Byron Parks had a goal and four helpers for the Copper Kings. Midland defeated Sault Ste. Marie 5-2. Escanaba fell short to Utica Eisenhower 5-3. And in midget AAA hockey, the Marquette Electricians played to a tie against Madison Gold. That score was 2-2. Nagani is still the number two team in the UP Boys Big Five basketball poll. The Miners on the road tonight at, well, I guess we'll go to Ish Escanaba and Marquette. That's Tracy Hudson of the Eskimos. First quarter action, and the shot from the outside is no good, but A.J. Grizoulis is there for the putback, and it was Grizoulis 5 and Escanaba nothing. Uh, things did not get better for Escanaba. James Daniels to steal, and he hits the layup. And a timeout is called by Hudson. Marquette up 7 nothing. And as you can tell, Escanaba having trouble with the Marquette press. Larry Burnett the steal. Over to Andy Nyquist. Pump fake works. And it's 13 nothing. Marquette. And another timeout. Then Burnett with the steal. He would go in for the score. And to prove that uh, Marquette was really having a fun time tonight, yes, it was 20 to nothing at that point. Marquette goes on to win this one 60 to 27. So 60 27 Marquette on the scoreboard. Iron, oh, no, not the scoreboard. There's Nagani and Ishbaming. And Brock Weaver puts that one in to get the 
Miners on the board. This is third quarter action here. Alex Briones, a nice crossover dribble. He goes to the hoop strong and puts it in. Nagani only leads 27-24. Then, nice passing. Dylan Mackey to Cody Kugler for the hoop and the harm. He made the free throw, tied the game at 27. And Ishpeming is knocking on the door. But Nagani would not let Ishpeming have the lead just yet. Zach Marshall of Tyler Jandrin for three. Rattles that one in, so Nagani is up by three. Here come the hematites. Tyrus Milamaki to Mike Hill. Tyler Beaumont saying, help me, help me. He doesn't get any help, so Ishpeming is back within one. Then Marshall to Jandrin. Over to Andrew Katona, who is back after a football injury. He goes strong to the basket and floats at home. Ishpeming did grab the lead moments later, but Nagani pulled away to win this one, 59-42. Now let's go to the scoreboard where Iron Mountain easily doubled up Norway tonight, 52-24. Munising gets 23 from Kenya Owis, defeating Manistique 61-43. Menominee gets an alley-oop at the end by Jared Rivard to defeat Marinette 56-54. Kingsford 68, Gladstone 47. Ironwood edges Hurley 58-54. Dylan Wendt had 29 for the Midgets. Adam Mackey 25 for the Red Devils. Bessmer 7 better than Mercer. It was Mellon 24 better than Wakefield Marinesco. Lane Brown with 22. ETC defeats Berica 67-29. Chassel over Lance 64-38. James Beaker pours in 30. Lance downs Lakeland and Hubble by 16. Brett Boshaw had at 22 for the Lakes. West Iron County 37. Calumet 33. Back to the video, wing ding basketball. That means Hancock taking on Houghton and Shane Wendling with the drive to the hoop and the Bulldogs grab the lead at 2-1. Next, Luke Paul inbounds for Wendling and he will spin and sinks the baseline jumper for one Bulldogs. For the Gremlins, Zach Oatman. Get the ball over to Skip Gast and Skip right under the basket. And finally gets the kind roll, and it's a 4-3 ball game. Alex Almquist will get the jumper here for Hancock, and the Bulldogs would get a 10-point victory by the count of 56 to 46. Let's go to Dollar Bay, where the Bays are taking on Antonagin, Antonagin. Close one in the second quarter, Tony Troy Price, I should say. Feeds Adam Keiko. That's no good, but Tyler Wooders is there, and that one is good. And Antonagin is narrowly in front. Jake Westfall will dish inside to Joe Doobie. He puts that one in. Dollar Bay has a one-point lead. And Dollar Bay would add some more before the half when Carl Kangas decides this jumper looks like a good one, and it would. But Antonagin is your winner, 64 to 46. Back to the numbers. North Dickinson, no trouble with Republic Michigami. Lucas Morrow and Wayne Shetter combined for 44. Carney Nato edges Stevenson, 65-64. Brett Branstrom, 21 points, 20 rebounds. Mid-pen, 7 better than Superior Central, 51-44. Tyler Kinnett's at 21 for the Cougars. Rapid River over Forest Park, 52-41. North Central doubles up Big Bay to knock. Detour, 46. Engadine, 35. Roger City 54, Newberry 41, Tyler Wilson 20 points with the flu, and Rudyard still takes care of Sheboygan 88-62. Cedarville a couple touchdowns better than Brimley 69-55, and the Sioux easily over St. Ignace 80-31. Niagara defeated St. Thomas Aquinas 54-35, and Maplewood Baptist an easy winner over Wolverine 78-40. On the girls' side, not many games tonight. Antonagin nearly doubles up Jeffers 58-30, and Bessemer easily gets past Mercer 60. 7.45. College basketball, Minnesota Moorhead over Minnesota Duluth by 7. Hancock's Maria Almquist had 9 points for UMD.